Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master Quest. In the last episode we did some side questing as Young Link, collecting masks for people, and on this episode we are going to be doing the bottom of the well. Probably... oh dear. Oh god. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I didn't even see that Rita there. Oh, it takes so long to kill. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they are saying. So as you may have guessed, we are in here looking for an item. We're not just in here just because it's all willy-nilly, but it's because there is something in here that we will need later on. So go ahead and explore. Now this is a dungeon that does come with a dungeon map and a compass but there's no boss in this dungeon. It is just just a, dun a mini dungeon but it is necessary to do nonetheless. Oh dear. This dungeon is full of tricks and it's full of traps and it's full of undead things like redeads, Gibdos, some blue bubbles. What does this say? You can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Ah, uh, look for that. Uh, they're all saying that. Okay. In Ocarina of Time, this dungeon can be done in like 30 seconds. No joke. But in this game, it takes a little bit longer. Gotta walk slowly and carefully because you never know when there's an invisible pit. Or a visible pit. Oh dear. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. That's never a good thing. That means we're going to be fighting some wall masters. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, and it went up. Great. Okay, come here. I dare you. Show your face again. There we go. We get a lot of money from beating the wall master, so it's in our best interest to do so. And I believe if we fall in here, then it's a one-hit KO. So we just instantly die from the poison, I think. Nope, it just does damage. Okay, let's go ahead and explore this stupid place. Let's see what's up here. The first time I ever played through this game, it took me longer than anything else I had ever done. Okay, I don't have a key, so I can't get in there. Um. I have a feeling I'm about to fall through a pit. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's see here. Nothing over here. Aha! Let's see what this does. Okay, that's easy enough. And hitting this drains the water. Okay, good. Ooh, there's something down here. 
So many things I can bomb in this place, but nothing really seems to be doing it for me. See, like, there's so many things to do, but, like, nothing works. I don't understand. And there's a chest, seemingly out in the open. Okay, it is out in the open. Just making sure. You never know when you'll be running towards something and then suddenly you fall through a pit or something. Dungeon map, that's wonderful. Oh, a wall master. Not this time, you don't. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Convenience. Hmm. Invisible floor. What happens if I fall? Oh, I don't want to fall. Oh dear. Look at that motion blur. It's like, ooh. Like you're afraid of falling. However, we got a key. Probably shouldn't have killed those, uh... Oh, damn. Ow. Oh, for freak's sake. Not only are you the creepiest enemy in the game, in my opinion, but I don't want to fight you more than I have to. Look at that map. That's a weird map. It's like a hand, sort of. Anyway, what's over here? Ow. I don't like that sound. Look at all those re-deads. I'm actually kind of afraid of that. Okay. Let's not be afraid anymore. Let's freeze them up. Oh god, there's more than I thought. Uh, no. Gotta remember they don't stay frozen forever. Spin that stick to live. Okay, I'm out of here. <sighs> yeah. Oh. This is truly frightening. However, nothing happens in here because of it. They were just a bunch of redeads. Running into the fire does nothing to... Hmm. Well then, I guess I faced my fears and lived to tell the tale. Now let's see, what else is there to do in here? Okay, there's that up there, which I have no idea where it is or what it is. There's some paths here, I don't know if I've taken all of them. This one I think I just took, so... Nope, because there are hearts. I feel like Indiana Jones. Yes, only because there was a rock there. Oh dear. An invisible Skeletula. Gotta fight him by sound. Ah, oh, not another one. There we go. And at the end, there's only a gold skeletula, which we don't really care about. Anyway, we've drained some water from the top, so now I think we're going to go find out what it is, because I think that's the end of this area down here. We don't really need to come down here for anything else. 
I mean, we might, because I don't have the compass, but we'll find out. We shall indeed find out. Now, I remember a couple episodes ago, I talked to you guys that I recently started playing League of Legends. Um, if I haven't responded to anyone about which character I play, it's Ash. Ash all of the way. I don't know why, but I just love playing characters that use a bow. And Ash was the first character I saw that used a bow, so I was like, this was meant to be. So, yes. I've also tried playing a couple other characters. By the time I upload this, I'll have probably tried more than I'm saying right now. But I mean, I also have fun playing Fiddlesticks. I tried playing Scion once. That was pretty fun. I'm more of a fan of ranged characters than non-ranged, but yeah. Anyway, now we have to fight this infinite hand here. Smash the controls to get out of the way of this arm. I hate fighting this enemy because like there's no fast way to fight it. It just kind of comes and goes whenever. And you can hit it about three times before it decides to go away. It's so sinister. Yeah, that's right, you go run away. Ow. There we go. So let's mash out again. Run over. I think this should be the last couple times I need to hit him. Yep, there we go. And normally I would be done the dungeon by beating him. Who knows, maybe that still holds true. Please. Da -da -da -da. Nope, it's only the compass. That is unfortunate. Ooh, there's a key in here. I have two small keys now. That is glorious. Because I know exactly where to use them. However, I kind of think I needed the water to be up to use them. Maybe I didn't. I really don't know. Either way, let's go back to where I saw those water things, so I can actually get over there. Because it looked like I just had to kind of dive underneath the thing and then come up and there'd be the key there, but now that I got rid of the water, the water level's probably gone down, so I can't hook shot up there, I know that, because you just can't do that in this game. But hopefully there's another way up. Um... Okay, well there's a locked door, so it probably means I have to go around this way. Or something. Yeah, let's try going this way, see what's in here. Uh-huh. I see you. There we go. Wonderful. Oh dear, it's a wall master. I mean a floor master. And a wall master, maybe. Because he told me to look out, or she told me to look out for things on the ceiling. Ow. Right. I don't have my shield equipped. There's the floor master, wall master appearing. Okay, hopefully I can get them both at the same time. Okay, it splits into three. If it sucks onto you, each little one grows into a big one. And I really don't want that. Oh dear. It leached onto me, and it's going to grow into a big one. And then, of course, each little one is 
Like this one can split into another three little ones, which can grow into a big one. It's really a terrible cycle of fail for me. So let's do this more into the middle of the room. There. And they all die. <laughs> Let's hope that locked door was worth it. Aha! It was. Uh -huh. Interesting. I don't know where that leads, but hopefully it's somewhere to my benefit. Oh my goodness, it's back. You know what, I'm just gonna turn my head of this whole thing altogether. I hate fighting both those enemies, so I'm just not even gonna bother. Not even gonna try. Okay, now it's time to find my way back to that thing I just did, which was over here, I believe. I unlocked this pit. Let's fall in. Aha, a chest appeared. Oh, a chest appeared in the middle of all those redeads. Okay. There we go. Finally got it right. And I guess this is just to move that block if you fall off so you don't have to keep coming back. Or maybe I'm just crazy, I really don't know. Either way... I see you. I see you rolling. There. Now I guess I have to kill all of these redeads again to get this chest. But I don't fear you. Not anymore! Oh, maybe a little bit. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta mash out, and then... Ah, there we go. This is the only way I can see myself living through this. Oh god. It didn't work. Ugh. Well, one of them froze up. But the other ones decided to just kind of run away. Whew! So afraid. Not anymore, though. Link, zombie slayer. And then this one never even stood a chance. Because it's all alone. Sorry, possible Hyrulean member. Either way, inside this chest we have... The Lens of Truth. This is what we came into the dungeon to get. We can see invisible things now. Be sure to use it outside of the well. Seeing the truth will cost magic power, so you see again to stop using it. So, we can now see the truth. Which is kind of creepy, but... We can now see things that we once were invisible. For example, those skeletulas over there. We can now see them with the Lens of Truth, but we don't need to. This will help us get out the dungeon, because if we fall into any invisible holes, we will know that they are invisible. So, I wonder if I can actually warp out of here. That'd be convenient. Because I need to go back to K K K or Castle Town anyway. Oh, cool. Well, that saves a lot of time. Okay, so we got a lot of rupees inside the well, which is convenient because what we need may potentially cost a lot of rupees. So we are quickly going to go do our last little thing here. 
and that is go to that mask shop. I can't believe I did the well in one video. I'm so happy. Okay, so pay back 50 rupees for the mask, and the last thing we have is the bunny hood. Borrow it for 50 rupees. Wear it with C to show it off. The hood's long ears are so cute. Now, the guy who wants the bunny hood is the running man. Now, you get to meet the running man and talk with him when you are a, an adult, because he's kind of sitting around and he's retired. But when you're a kid, he is constantly running around Hyrule Field, and he doesn't stop, unless it's night. During the day, he will always be running, and he runs faster than you, but during the night, he is stopped. Now, the best way to find him is just outside of the Lon Lon Ranch, because he just kind of runs around Lon Lon Ranch. And it's really easy to catch up to him. Basically, all you need to do is wait until you can see him. Oh, there he is right there, actually. Wow, that's the fastest I've ever found him. Unfortunately, in Ocarina of Time, he doesn't he doesn't slow down when... Uh, or you don't go fast when you're, you know, doing the bunny hood. But, yeah. So anyway, hey, hey, come here, come here. Hey, where'd you go? I don't want to lose you. Or maybe he doesn't stop. Maybe he just goes slower. There he is. Yeah, a little bit slower. There you are. Unfortunately, you can only talk to him when it's daytime. So we're going to have to turn it to daytime here. So this is the postman from Majora's Mask. The running man, he likes to run. Okay, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? Will you talk to me without the mask? Maybe I don't have to be Z-targeting you. Maybe you have to be stopped. Hey, those things are only allowed to do that in the night. Oh dear. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Okay, maybe it has to be night. So yeah, at night those pea hats go way up in the air and they start spitting out these things that chase you. But during the daytime they're not supposed to. But it's doing it anyway. And I don't know why. Okay. Will you stop? Please. Please. Okay, it's really getting old. Go back to your mummy. There we go. We found it. There he is. At night, he stops. So, talk to him. I bet with those long ears you can hear the voices. Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. Yes. My long dream returning to the wildlife. Finally, the actor, stage, and prop have been united. It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. Go back to the mask shop and pay back the just 50 rupees of this money. Oh dear. Oh, well, I don't care about you. So yeah, he basically fills up your entire wallet. He'll give you as much money as you can hold for this mask. And because we only needed 30 rupees, well, he filled that up. So, wonderful. So with that, the mask side quest has been completed. We are going to leave him and go back and talk to the happy mask salesman and figure out what we can get from him next because there was a whole other side to his masks, of course. <laughs> Alright, so topping, t topping, talking to the mask salesman here. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. Oh yeah, very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. 
As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the truth, true meaning of life. Ho ho ho. So he gives you the Mask of Truth. From now on, you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. So then on the other side here, he also has the Zora Mask, Goron Mask, and a Gerudo Mask. But we don't really care about those. So if we wear the Mask of Truth now and talk to a person. Yeah, what's your problem? Not many people really like it. Oh no, you're scary, don't come any closer. Nobody really likes this mask. Now, something this mask does let you do, though, is it lets you talk to these gossip stone statues. If we check them, it says, This statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. Oops, I'm not wearing the mask anymore. There we go. Responding to your mask, this strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say it is against the rules to use glasses at the treasure chest shop in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Responding to your mask, this strange statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that Gerudos sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. Responding to your mask, I overheard this. They say that Malin of Lon Lon Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come and sweep her off her feet someday. And the last one. They say that Malin set the original record in the obstacle course of Lon Lon Ranch. So it's just interesting stuff there. So there are two more things we're going to do quickly before, um, before leaving this episode. The first is we are going to come in here. And this is the shooting gallery for uh, as a kid. It's the same as the one for um, adult, except here the pattern is always the same. The rupees will always appear in exactly the same order every single time. Whoops. Whereas in adult, they are always random. And I missed one because I forgot the order in which they appeared. I thought the two blue came out first instead of the green one, so... Well, there's one green. Oops. Then the left blue. Oh, rats. Then the right blue. Then the bouncing one. Then both blue. Then the right to left red. And then the left to right red. There we go. And what we get from it is... The Deku Seed Bully Bag gun bigger, now you can carry more bullets. Now we can hold 50. So we have the fully upgraded Deku Seed Bag. Over here, we have a little bit of a harder game. The Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. Oh, what? A customer? Okay, welcome. It's 30 rupees. Okay, aim for the hole. Let's bowl. You can win this. A Bomb Bag. So we just have to hit the target three times, no big deal. The first one's pretty easy, just put it down and you pretty much win. The second one, it can appear on the top, in the top left corner, or the top right corner. Which can be a pain. And that cuckoo can also be a real pain. But this one is basically you put it down and you win. As long as you time the cuckoo, it's okay. Now, this last one is always in the same spot, but there's a bigger cuckoo in the way here. So sometimes this one can be really hard. Very rarely can you just simply put down the bomb chew and have it go directly in. So you might need to aim this one at a bit of an angle to get it in. That one might have gone in if that cuckoo hadn't have been there, but we'll never know. Come on, Cuckoo, move out of the way. Come on. Okay, let's try that. Please don't move in the way. It moved in the way. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, let's try now. 
No. No good. Oh boy, I did it. Winner. Mew. Yay. Da -na -na -na. So now we can carry more bombs. Now we can carry up to 30 instead of just 20. And if we choose to play again, we can win bomb choose, we can win a 50 rupees, or we can win a piece of heart. No big deal. Now, there's one more thing. And I know I said two things, and now there's one thing, and it's just going to keep going on forever. But there's one mini game we can play that we can only play at night in this room over here. Now then, this is where the Lens of Truth comes in handy. So basically, open the chest, and you win. So, first he gives us a key to go in. Now, what we have here is we have two chests. In one there's one rupee, and in one there's a key. But using the Lens of Truth, you can always tell which one has the key in it. So, it's a way to cheat the game. But, you know, this one has the key. Normally it's a game of luck. But, uh, you know, it's always fun to gamble. Now that we're in the blue room, there's blue rupees instead of red rupees in the wrong chest. But, of course, we want to get the key because there's always something better at the end. But this time, the key's on this side. Sneaky, sneaky. And it looks like the next room is going to be red rupees. So it's either get 20 rupees or a key. But I'm going to choose the key. And we got a. Then in the last room here, there's, of course, a heart piece. Now, if you do this minigame every time, uh, you, after you get this heart piece, there will always be um, a 50, 50 rupees. So. It's a good way to get money if you don't have money, because you pay 10 to get in, and then you just go to the end with a little bit of magic usage, and then you come out with 40 rupees more, so that's always nice. So, on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we are, or not Majora's Mask, I keep saying Majora's Mask, just as Master Quest Majora's Mask, blah 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 blah. On the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master Quest, we are going to be returning to adult Link form because we no longer have any use as little Link right now. And we are going to be doing some more side questing. We're not quite going to be going on to the next temple yet, which is underneath a vast lake, according to Sheik. So, tune in to the next episode where we are going to be doing some more exciting exciting things in the land of Hyrule. So, yes. See you guys next time.